Right, so I've made it to Lake Keep. Bleh, hang on, start again. Right, I've made it, made it to Kidby Lock, and I've got a special guest. It's only my dad. <laughs> it's Richie. He's here for the journey. We're going to go down the, well, up the Trent tomorrow at 8 a.m. We're just going to go and check out the river while it's still daylight. What do you reckon, Dad? Kidby Lock is where the Stainforth and Kidby Canal meets the River Trent. It's tidal here, so we have to book 24 hours in advance and also speak to the Canal River Trust lockkeeper, who, after bribing with the requisite bottle of beer, gave us some top advice and a fantastic view from his control tower overlooking it all. Dad, are you confident we can make it tomorrow? Absolutely. <laughs> what do you reckon, Dave? <laughs> we're 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 doomed. Doomed. And this is where the unsuccessful boats oh God. Uh, land, land up. <laughs> <laughs> So dad's driving to Lincoln and he's gonna get the train back, which is gonna be a little bit, it's gonna be difficult for him because the trains aren't that easy up here. So it might be about a two hour journey with a one hour wait in between stations. <laughs> It's time to get on to the Tidal River. I don't know if I'm ready for this yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Won't be able to vlog on the way, I don't think, because it would be too loud, but and we'll be trying to keep our wits about us. But hopefully we'll get some nice shots anyway. Let's crack it! I'm going to try and navigate whilst Dad takes the tiller um, because there are certain things you have to watch out for. Like we've just had to make sure we go to the right side of that bridge just now, uh, yeah. or the left side. Yeah. Which, uh, <laughs> you know, so if we had gone right, we might have got stuck in a sandbag. So you have got to be really careful. But it's common sense. Stay away from the inside corners. Bloody cold. Better off doing this in the summer, I think. And um, <laughs> as Dad just said. You don't want to do it at night. No. <laughs> well, I can't because I've got no navigation lights anyway, so. But yeah, we're doing all right, I think. We've got yeah. perfect weather. Going up and down now, and it really, it really shits you up. She's thinking, oh my God, is the water gonna come over the side? No, but we're, we're all fine. It's just a bit, considering how calm the water is generally. Right, a bit of a tricky situation because I'm being followed now. Being on the river, there should be plenty of space for them to pass easily. I've just slowed down and let them pass, really. 
So as soon as they're gone, I can speed up again. And the wake's nothing, really. Finally made it after about five and a half hours, I think it was. It doesn't normally take that long, but we were just really slow. I mean, my engine sounds like a beast, but it's only 13 and a half horsepower, so it doesn't churn out that much power. I've gone up to the lock keeper and I've said, we're here, let us in, please. And he's just opened the doors for us. Here we go. We've made it. Yeah. 
Well, we've finally made it to Torxy Lock, so we're just going to find somewhere to moor up now and have a nice cup of tea, or maybe find Pub of the Week. There's only one pub at Torxy Lock, but fortunately for us, it had everything we needed. Real ales, home-cooked food, friendly locals, and to top it all off, they even let us put on the rugby. Just bumped into Gemma and Carl, um, lovely people. We've got this amazing, real traditional old boat, narrow boat, and they were heading on to Chesterfield Canal. Um, so I, I thought it was shut, but apparently it's going again. Very confusing, very confusing times. Oh, bloody hell. How did you get on with the swing then? Did you, did you ever go? Did you ever go? The Sheep Whisperer, this Sunday on BBC Two. And that's the end of part one. I hope you'll join us on the next part where, as we go into Lincoln along the Fosdyke Canal, which is a Roman canal. So that will be interesting to see. But until I see you next, take care. And keep on cranking it.